from Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay, it's Harrison Company. And now your host, a man dreaming of a white Christmas, so use some Grecian, Jack, Jack Harris. Hey, hey, hey. Howdy, folks. Welcome to Busch Gardens, and welcome to Harrison Company. we got a great show today because the chef is here and Bonnie Patrick is here. But first of all, let's have a big round of applause for our outstanding offstage announcer, Jeff Wargo. All right, Jeff. Hey, zip on down here. What a job. What a job. Let me come down here and join you, Jeff. Where are you from, Jeff? Tampa, Florida. All your life? Originally New Jersey. Rowway. Rowway? Ro Rowway. You know the state prison? Is that what's there? Yeah. They nice. let me out 1987, you, you so I moved to Tampa. 87, that's good. Hey, now, you're here with a special group, and if we can get a shot of them over here, everybody who's here with the Healthcraft Convention, raise your hand and holler, yo. Yo! How many you got out here? About, what, 35, 40 people? We came in at a busload and a half, so what would you say, 50? And, of course, Healthcraft is one of our sponsors right here on Harrison Company, so it's great to have you. Jeff, have a seat because you. you get to sample Chef Tell's cooking in just a few minutes, his cuisine. I've got to show somebody else right here, too. If this gentleman would please stand up and face the camera. Peter, could you get a kind of move in on him closely? I want to ask you, does this man not look like Channel 8's Bob Height? <laughs> and you, uh... Well, you're going to be on the game show, I see, here in a little later on. Yeah, right? that's, yeah. And you don't know Bob Height at all, right? You know, I didn't. Uh, I'm California. I'm... I want you to watch the 6 and 11 o'clock news tonight, and you're going to think you're doing it. All right, I will. <laughs> okay, but have a seat and relax. One other question that we would like to ask of everybody here. How many people, if you've done so, raise your hand and holler, yo. How many people who have received, have re ever received a Christmas present of a fruitcake? Yo. yo. Raise your hand. Yo, a lot of people have. Okay. The next question is... Who all has ever eaten one? <laughs> well, there are about three or four, I think, that have. That's strange. You know, most people don't do that. I, I got a thing in the mail here from Billy Fortunoff. I think it's funny because I got a gift of a fruitcake, and I'm not going to say who sent it, but they sent the recipe from Billy Fortunoff in Treasure Island of a favorite fruitcake. It calls for 15 cups of flour, red thingies, green thingies, syrup, glue, Mix ingredients, bake, spray with hairspray or lacquer. And that's just, but I'm just fascinated to see that some people actually eat those things. They, I don't know if you're aware of this, but what is the name of the company? I wrote it down here. A, a company called Grandma's Fruitcake Company, this is true, has sent fruitcakes to our troops who are now in Somalia for Christmas. Sent every one of them, or at least most of them, or each company one or something like that. And I understand the troops are overjoyed. They say they're using them as bricks in their bunkers, and they work real well. You cannot even fire through them right away. Well, speaking of cooking, coming up in just a jiffy, it's going to be the one and only Chef Tell and Bonnie Patrick for fitness, all coming up on Harrison Company. If you really want to get the feeling of this Christmas season, bring your family to an old-fashioned Christmas at the Florida State Fairgrounds every weekend night from 6 to 10 p.m. through Christmas. You're going to find everything that makes this season so special, from the music to the Christmas card lane to the arts and crafts to the Santa's workshop, the trees, the decorations, the lights, a live nativity scene, and, of course, Santa Claus himself. Come on out and enjoy the best that this season has to offer. It's an old-fashioned Christmas at the Florida State Fairgrounds. The best gift for the holidays is the gift of life. I'm Gail Searins, and this is my son, Cameron. A few months ago, Cameron underwent surgery, and just before his operation, I donated blood in the event he would have needed a transfusion. But many people in the Bay Area don't have family members with compatible blood types. That's why we need your help. Join the Channel 8 Holiday Blood Drive, December 23rd, and give the gift of life. Your donation could save someone's life. Shop Walgreens for Christmas gifts. Save 9 to 32% off department store prices on a great selection of designer fragrances. Just $18.99. Get your family the Interplaque Plaque Removal System and save $10. On sale only $69.99. It's just $59.99 after mail-in rebate. And pick up two-liter bottles of Coke, Diet Coke, and Sprite for the holidays. Now just 99 cents. Walgreens, filling your Christmas wishes. Cooking with Chef Tell is brought to you by Cash and Carry, where you always get so much more to pay less for. Here we 
are my favorite time of the week on Harrison Company when we are joined by the one and only internationally renowned Chef Tell. Hey, what's up, man? Nice All right. It's a pleasure. All right. I see you brought some of your cohorts down here, about 30 yeah, of them. Yeah, I worked with them all year long, you know, in different parts of the country, whatever. Now they all bring them in because I'm too busy to go there. So what can I tell you? We have a big convention here. <laughs> That's good. They had a big party last night, and of course, I was invited to do the cooking, like oh, always. Oh, I know. Isn't that a they shame? Yeah, it's a shame. My money can tell you. We're going to negotiate a new contract in a couple of months, <laughs> and then we're going to straighten this out. All you want to do is be in the parties. Oh, no, no, sometimes a couple other things too. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, a lot of people, which is a little short story. I do a lot of catering with my business down for one of those private chats down there and hang on one, you know, all those big executives come in and they call me up like last minute for tomorrow morning. We need breakfast, we need this, we need this. And I got a call uh, three days ago and they sent me the fax over and the fax says uh, that what I had to do, like cheese tray for four and fly. Cheese uh, what? Cheese tray. It's oh, tray. cheese tray. Okay, tray. Okay, my cheese tray. Cheese, I know, okay. I'm, I'm trying. Something comes from cows, anyhow. Yeah. Cheese tray and crab salad and shrimp and lobster tails and this and this. And the other party, they wanted chicken wings and they wanted cheese and crackers and they wanted wrapped wieners. Wrapped wieners. So, I'm not born in America, you know, so I know what wieners are, I know what rubbing is. I went out, I bought all the wieners and everything. I went home, cooked the one party, it was like, I had to deliver at 5 o'clock in the morning, so I do it the night before. So then I'm going to take this around, rub, I take the wieners, and I rub them. My wife says, what are you doing? I said, I'm rubbing the wieners. I mean, this is obvious, isn't it? <laughs> she said, you must be crazy. She said, no, I'm not. She said, that's not how you rub wieners. I said, you're a chef. Don't know how you rub wieners. She takes the... <laughs> so anyhow, needless to say, a half hour later, I'm fighting with, I went to cash and carry, bought some Pepperidge Farm stuff, and rolled it, got them wieners. You're, you're going to take them straight wieners. Oh, well. So anyhow, I had no idea what rub wieners meant. And now anyhow, we now we're cooking catfish. I know how to do that. Yeah. A lot of fish is not available this time of the year. There's no flounder, there's no halibut, there's only codfish, no shark, halibut. Oh, halibut, okay. You I'm, speak English today? No, I'm, wanna... I'm, I'm picking yeah, up on it. We have two cards, you know, H-A-L-I-B-U-T. <laughs> not two T's, one T. But, right, B-U-T, okay. but no ifs, ands, These days, there's a lot of codfish out there, there's a lot of frozen stuff out there, and some fresh catfish, and there's some codfish and other things. So I thought today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful, nice catfish. A lot of people don't like it. It's farm waste, it doesn't taste fishy, it doesn't taste like mud where they go. It's a little olive oil and a little butter. You can catch this stuff right out here in the Alafi River or Hills. If you say so, like sir, that. I just go to Cash and Carry, it's much easier. Well, that's I say, easier. <laughs> I say two pounds. Okay. I mean, what can I tell you now? Actually, what I do when I go fish, I say, rub it up and throw it at me. <laughs> and then you say you caught and it. And then I say I caught it. Okay. Anyhow, <laughs> so we're just going to go like this. We're going to dredge the fish in flour. This way the fish will not stick to the sauté pan. Uh -huh. Nice stainless steel, just like this. Now we're going to take some vegetables. We're going to make some chulion of vegetable. Some julian. Ch they also call it strips or stripes. How do you pronounce it? It's called it strips, strips or stripes? Strips. Well, I or guess you call it stars and stripes, right? But yeah, this is stars strips. And okay. stripes I'm just and checking, strips you know. Julian. Strips are julian. Okay, we're going to take the carrots, going to do the celery. You can run it through a food processor. It takes oh. one second to run it through the machine, 45 minutes to wash it. You just might do it like this. This guy's <laughs> right over here. Going to take a little bok choy. A little what? That's what I thought. Cabbage. Oh. It's okay. Chinese cabbage, you know, also known as bok Choy. Bok choy. Yeah, you heard that before, didn't you? Yeah. Why do you take Chinese cabbage? Does it taste differently? No, well, that's a little more color in that other cabbage is white, the other one is red, and red fi uh, catfish doesn't go with red cabbage. Oh, okay. Agreeable? Good. Right. Now Sounds we're just going to slice the mushrooms, just take the mushrooms, keep the knife going, and then just take the other mushroom <laughs> slices right on there, okay? We're going to take a little shallots. If you don't like the shallots, don't add it in there. It doesn't make any difference. They're like The onions. fish is already dead. It doesn't care how you cook it. <laughs> so now we're just going to saute this real okay. fast, you know. No problem. It's just going to ride like... The first time we do this, we over your sink, okay? Yes. So it's much easier. We put the vegetables right in here, just like this. Oh, no, I know everybody's laughing. We have a couple drops of oil there. Oh, oh look at this. Yeah. I clean my own kitchen, don't worry about it. Just... This is cooking. Tiny touch of pepper, not too much. Little salt, you know how the French guy do it. And then we add in there a little wine. Oh, Not yes. too much, just a little bit. We don't want to use wine, you can use chicken stock, doesn't make any difference. However, the fish like to swim with us, just like this. That's how you cook it, this goes right over here. This takes about probably five to seven minutes to cook. We don't have that much time, so I've already started to pre prepare one. And what we're having here is this beautiful, nice catfish. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to take a little vegetable, Almost like make a little nest. You see this? Oh, yeah. Those are almost like walked vegetables, aren't they? They're stir-fried, not walked. Oh, stir-fried. Okay. okay. There's a new cookbook out. 101 ways to walk a dog. Anyhow, oh. so we're just going to go like this. Put this right. It's a choke. It's a bad choke, but it's a choke. <laughs> just going to go like this. Now, what I saw this morning, you know, the catfish, you know, 
I saw those little cravettes, you know. Wow. What do you call them? Crawfish, whatever. Crawfish. And I thought it looks nice as a garniture. The guy said, it's $16 for 15 pounds. I said, I need 15 pounds. So since I shop in cash and carry and they know me very well, you know, he said, we give you a four for free. So if you don't get your fours for free, it doesn't make any difference. However, you put a little crawfish on there, it's another 250. You're going to put a little parsley on there, it's another 250. Oh, now my. we have a four dollar crawfish and we sell it for 16 bucks. How about that? <laughs> yeah. And now, of course, Chef is one of the guys who's going to taste it now. I met Chef 16 years ago. I'm going to tell you where and how and when. But he had a lot of my food. Chef, you better like this one. Yeah. All it, right. Do you eat the uh, crawfish or is that well, just... Well, Chef doesn't know. He never had it. So Let me, let me get okay. a microphone down here if I okay, can. Okay, Chef. Fish is not too far. There we go. Oh, boy, that just falls apart, doesn't it? That looks great. Do you, do you know how you eat crawfish? Now, we got some people from New Orleans. They eat the heads and suck the tails. Lee and I heard that. Oh. <laughs> Remember that, yeah. Lee? Boy, it's really yeah. revolting. Anybody here from New Orleans who's ever done that, eaten heads and sucked tails off crawfish? Raise your hand, holler, yo. 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 Not many. Yeah, there's a couple back there, but they're embarrassed. This is great. Yeah, that is good. Not that bad catfish, for catfish. 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 Yeah, that's, that's that's awesome. Superb food. job. Jeff and Joy, get back over here with the chef. And are you ready for our big finale here in three, okay, two, one. one. We, we see you. See you.